These are the sexiest men's fragrances I think are available on the market right now. I like to do these videos every once in a while because I like to show how my taste changes over time, but I also like to update you guys on what I think are the best, most attractive fragrances for men. A lot of us guys don't really care about the uh, fancy notes or the most animalic oud you can smell. Some of us just want to smell attractive, get compliments, get the ladies, and have a fragrance that performs well, has a good amount of sillage as well. So I've balanced how attractive the smell is with also the performance. All of these are pretty good performance, at least six hours with a, at least a media projection, I think, for pretty much all of these. So I think this is a really good balance list that has both colder weather scents as well as fresher scents. We'll start off with the colder weather stuff and then as we progress through the video, you'll notice that the fragrances will get fresher and fresher until the last fragrance is that it's most fresh, which is most suitable for this upcoming warm weather season. Let's begin. <music> Stronger with you, absolutely. Now, I can't deny there's a lot of similarity between this and Azara's The Most Wanted. I feel like Azara The Most Wanted is the more simplified, more youthful, more fun, casual version of this fragrance. If that appeals to you, then go for that. If you want a good clubbing scent, I think The Most Wanted is probably more suited to that. But in general, I can't deny this DNA is extremely attractive. Stronger with you is a <laughs> revolutionary DNA in the mainstream market. A lot of fragrances I feel like are trying to copy it. This like a uh, strong amber aroma molecule effect that this fragrance has. Strong ambers in here, medium projection, eight to 10 hours longevity with a smoky chestnut feel with boozy notes in here as well. It's got a rum in here with a very overall balanced and easy to love DNA. It's definitely more of a cool weather scent, but I just feel like this DNA was already pretty good with the original Strong With You. I felt like it was a little bit too beginner friendly, a little bit boring in my opinion. So I think the absolutely with the boozy note really adds a nice twist in there that makes it interesting enough and really attractive. So if you want a great romantic, but also strong performing evening scent, then go for this flanker here. I think so far from all the flankers I've tried, this is my favorite. Hugo Boss Bottled Elixir. One of my favorite elixir scents out right now. This is a great signature. If you enjoyed fragrances like Armonico's Absolute, you'll enjoy this fragrance, I think, as well. I don't think they smell anything that similar <laughs> in general. I'm not sure why. I feel like they're just, it's just a very good comparison. It's a good comparison. I'm not sure why, because I feel like the same scenarios you'd wear that fragrance, you'd wear this as well. This is like a balanced vanilla scent that's sort of like a signature in the cooler weather, similar to what Code Absolute was also. So I kind of say this is like a fuzzy, spicy vanilla. Uh, that is smoothed out. It's sort of like Sauvage Elixir or something like that became more sweet, more smoothed out while still being balanced enough to be a signature. So I think, yeah, this could be your daily scent in the uh, autumn and winter time. You can wear it in the spring as well, in my opinion. You can wear it on dates in the springtime and the evening. And I just think it is a really great affordable elixir scent. It lasts a really long time, around 10 hours of medium projection, a really attractive signature. And this is just a really solid release from Hugo Boss themselves. I like to hate on their other releases, but I think this is a standout from them. This is probably their best release out right now. 32% of people who watch School of Scent are subscribed to us. If you guys want to see our channel grow to really help us out, click subscribe. Let's get that number to 40%. Thank you. Mesa Margiela's Jazz Club. Again, I would say this is the best fragrance from the Maison Margiela brand. It is probably more masculine, I'd say. It needs more masculine, it's spicy, tobacco, boozy notes, amber. Sort of like if you want to upgrade from Dolce & Gabbana's The One or De Parfum, you go to something like this. It's a little bit more complex, a little bit more interesting, more things going on. And it's incredibly attractive. It's so nicely balanced. Like amber evening scents can be a little bit too intense sometimes. Like let's say Stronger With You absolutely is definitely an intense scent. This is very nice to wear, very easy to wear, very balanced, as I say, six hours with a uh, soft to medium projection. But for the environments you're gonna wear it in, I think that's a fine performance. It does smell like a classy, playful jazz club. It's sort of like the idea of this uh, entire line, the idea of this this fragrance. I think they recreate that really well. I think this is a beautiful fragrance you need to try. Valentino Wilmo, Born in Roma, Coral Fantasy. The Valentino Wilmo lines changed a lot. It used to be like a, an elegant iris scent originally. I don't know what they've done now. They've gone to crazy twists and turns with the line, but Coral Fantasy really blew me away. This stuff is attractive. It got a lot of hype on lies, so I had to try it. I tried it in store. I had to get a full bottle. <laughs> it's fruity red apple mixed with ambery musk is how I would describe this. Very attractive, almost a bubblegum-esque quality to it, but more modern. Like, they've kind of taken that bubblegum DNA, made it a little more modern, more relevant to today's time. This is 
smoothly blended, super attractive, super youthful as well, I'd say. If you're a teenager you're looking for a really attractive signature, this is a fragrance to do it for you. I think you can wear it all year round. Summertime, wear it maybe in the evenings predominantly. I get around six hours of medium projection. You can overspray to make it last longer on your clothes, etc. So I think it's a fine performer. There is a tobacco note in this fragrance that is listed. I think it's a small player overall. I think it's a supporting note. I don't really get that much from this fragrance. Again, I would describe this as the, a fruity, musky amber scent overall that's balanced. YSL's La Nuit de L'Homme Blue Electrique. I think a lot of people still can get this fragrance. You gotta just wait for it. It's a strange unicorn scent that it doesn't seem to be discontinued. I think it's actually still there in most regions. You just gotta wait for it for some reason. So look out for it online. Try to get it if you can. This is La Nuit de L'Homme revived, rejuvenated, made more modern, more fresh, crisp, a little bit blue and they've got that sexy cardamom woody amber DNA of the original that's very romantic, very attractive, but made it more versatile. It's really the best of both worlds and they've upped the performance, which was the main weakness of the original in today's formulation. So now it's around six to eight hours with a medium projection. This is the attractive man signature. I'll repeat it again. If you want to just smell sexy every day, you don't want to worry about your fragrance, this will do it for you. It has that romantic, intense attractiveness of the original super charming fragrance made better. Armani Code's Parfum. The Armani Code line has been legendary for over 20 years now. I think the original was great and I think over the years they've really gone ahead and just perfected this DNA. The Parfum I think is the epitome of the DNA of the original anyways. They've really taken the original, it smells like the original the most and they kept that darkness, that crispness, that freshness, the aromatics in here that has that elegant slight maturity that the original has but they just smoothed it out woody citrusy tonka bean that's very creamy and added a slight powdery touch from the iris in here the iris really elevated i think whilst not being too much of a, a an overpowering or dominant player here the iris is done beautifully this is such an attractive signature if you're a slightly mature man who wants a very safe but attractive fragrance that you won't get bored of even as myself i smell hundreds and hundreds of fragrances now at this point I think this is one of the best quote unquote beginner fragrances out there. 10 hours longevity with a medium projection as well, or soft to medium. This is a very classy, but also very attractive signature in my opinion. Giorgio Armani's Aqua Di Gio Parfum. This won our public reaction video for the summer big hitters, uh, for the, the ladies, what they liked. This won our competition there. And I think it just shows the timelessness of this Aqua Di Gio DNA made by Alberto Morias, legendary perfumer. The Parfum to me smells the most like Ascenza, which was discontinued. Not as strong as Ascenza, but still a fantastic performer. It's a great, lovable, classical DNA that you, everyone's gonna love forever, really, at this point. And it's very safe, herbaceous, aquatic, masculine perfumery, citrusy as well that lasts 12 hours with a media projection. That's incredible. I think it's currently the best flanker of Aqua Di Gio. I definitely prefer this over Profuma personally, but I know Profuma gets the most hype. Profuma is probably a better signature. You can wear in the evening as well. It's also an attractive fragrance, don't get me wrong, but I think this smells more attractive, but this is more suited to the daytime only, but you can wear this pretty much all year round if you want to. And then lastly, Le Weve 7 Cobalt. You're seeing this a lot on the channel. This is my blue fragrance right now. This is getting all the hype from me. This is the moment right now for this fragrance. This is a very attractive blue scent, and I think it's the most suited to the warm weather as well. It's very light, handsome, Mediterranean, but it's got a great balance as well. This is a great signature to wear in both the day and the nighttime if you like a fruity, peppery, blue, musky fragrance. This is a fantastic, light-hearted, very charming blue scent. If you're that kind of guy who wants to smell like that, you don't take yourself too seriously, you are very playful as a personality, this is the blue fragrance for you. I get around six to eight hours. You can go a little bit heavier on the trigger with this. It's quite inoffensive. This is like a blue scent that's gone a bit more niche. It's very smoothly blended. I think they use better ingredients. This is a very slept on blue scent if you want something new in this genre. That concludes this video, guys. What are your thoughts on my choices here today? This is just what I'm thinking about right now. I think these are the most attractive fragrances. What are your thoughts? What are the most attractive men's fragrances you're wearing right now. These aren't necessarily my favorites, I'm not saying they're your favorites, but what are some fragrances that you put on and you just think, wow, this just smells incredibly attractive. I just can't see how you can go wrong with this choice. If you wanna be kind to the rest of the community, guys, share those kind of fragrances, those attractive fragrances down in the comments down below, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our previous video on men's attractive fragrances. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.